This is Living Life with Grace and Truth. I'm Earl Wagner, the Dean of Biblical and Theological Studies at Colorado Christian University. This month, we're talking about Advent. It's one of my favorite topics. There are two reasons why Advent is a favorite topic for conversation, and both reasons are related. Reason number one, when I was a kid, my family did not celebrate Advent. Christmas was a big deal, of course, because, well, gifts under the tree. Beginning the week after Thanksgiving, we began the big, fun, exciting ramp up to decorating and holiday food and the Christmas tree and, well, gifts under the tree. I keep mentioning gifts under the tree because that was the main thing about Christmas for me as a kid. Of course, the baby Jesus and the Savior's birth were important, but honestly, not as big of a deal as, say it with me now, gifts under the tree. As warm as those childhood memories are for me now, I'm blessed as an adult to be rescued by Advent from all of that focus strictly on gifts. Which brings me to reason number two about Advent being a favorite topic of conversation. How does Advent rescue a person from the pursuit of purely stuff? Well, practicing the church's tradition of Advent, forces a person to slow down, to consider the real meaning of Christmas in a measured, intentional, progressive way, day after day, over the course of 27 days. That's how long Advent is this year. Focusing on the many and nuanced ideas about Christmas. You spend the day, a full day, thinking about Mary. A full day considering the angel Gabriel. A day about Joseph. One day on the wise men. You get the picture. The many facets of the Christmas story, each one getting its own spot on the calendar, slows down the approach to Christmas so that you don't just jump from Thanksgiving to gifts under the tree. Submitting to the rhythm of Advent makes us consider and appreciate the entire story which culminates in the great, unique, mysterious, and life-saving birth of Jesus Christ. Advent is a practice which helps put Christmas in proper biblical perspective. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. This year, Advent begins on Sunday, November 29th, and ends on Thursday, December 24th. We hope that during this season, you are reflective, prayerful, perhaps even repentant, and that you slow down the holiday to the speed of Advent. Next month, we'll talk about Christmas. This is Living Life with Grace and Truth. I'll see you then. 